Over the decade, bank fraud are increasing day by day. These frauds can be detected and reduced with the help of supervised machine learning technique. Fraudulent transactions show a specific pattern and with the help of supervised machine learning algorithms, these patterns can be separated from the genuine ones. These supervised machine learning algorithms can identify fraudulent activity a lot quicker and with more exactness than traditional based systems. Hello everyone, my name is Mayan from Simply Learn. In this video, we will learn what is supervised machine learning. We will look at how supervised machine learning works. We will also see some advantages and disadvantages of supervised machine learning. We will continue this session by understanding supervised machine learning types followed by supervised machine learning algorithm. Further, we will have a quick look at some real world application of supervised machine learning. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon so you will never miss any update from Simply Learn. But before we talk about supervised machine learning, let's quickly understand what machine learning is. Machine learning is the art of making computers learn and act like humans by feeding data and which focuses on utilization of information and imitating the way that people learn step by step working on its accuracy. Machine learning is playing a major role in our day-to-day -day life. Machine learning is used in trends and pattern identification, automation, weather forecasting, and many more. Machine learning is classified into supervised machine learning, unsupervised machine learning, reinforcement learning, semi-supervised learning. Let's understand supervised machine learning in detail. Supervised machine learning Machines are trained using labeled data, also known as training data, to predict the results. Here, labeled data refers to a group of data that have been tagged with one or more names, and data is already known to the machine. In the real world, supervised machine learning can be used for image and object recognition, predictive analytics, customer sentiment analysis, spam detection, and many more. After understanding what supervised machine learning is, Let's move forward and see how supervised machine learning works. Suppose we have a dataset that includes dogs and cats. Now the first step is that we need to train the model for each dogs and cats as per the factors like similarity, pattern, shapes and contrast. Now after training, we test our model using new dataset which is unknown to the model and the task of the model is to identify the new input data. The machine is already trained on all types of similarity, patterns, shapes, and contrast. When it finds new data, it classifies it on the basis of similarity, patterns, shapes, and contrast and predict the output. As of now, we are well aware of how supervised machine learning works. Let's have a walkthrough of the advantages and disadvantages of supervised machine learning. Before diving deep into any technology, it is very important to understand its advantages and disadvantages. Here are some advantages of supervised machine learning. First one is real world computation problems. Help you to solve various types of real world computation problems like spam detection, image and object recognition, and many more. The second one is optimization. Using past experience, supervised machine learning can optimize performance criteria. The third one is prediction. In supervised machine learning, models can predict the output based on the past experience as well. Fourth one is reusable data. We can reuse the training data unless there is any feature change. Supervised machine learning has advantages as well as disadvantages. Let's have a look at some disadvantages now. Computation time is also known as running time. It's very vast for the supervised machine learning. Supervised machine learning models always need updates. Reprocessing of data a big challenge for predicting the output. Anyone can overlay supervised machine learning easily. It occurs when a statical model is exactly against its training data. Now that we have an understanding of advantages and disadvantages, let's move forward and discuss different types of supervised machine learning. Supervised machine learning can be further classified into two problems which are classification, 
regression. Let's see them one by one in detail. Classification is a process of in which new observations are recognized and separated in such a way that they can be categorized. Assuming you have a group of things, for example, vegetables, you can categorize them based on their property that they have. Like, you can arrange the potatoes in class A, tomatoes in class B, capsicum in class C. These are some popular classification algorithms that come under supervised machine learning. First one is random forest. Second, decision trees. Third one is logistic regression. Fourth one is support vector machines. Moving forward, let's have a look on regression. A regression algorithm is used to figure out the connection between a dependent and independent variable. Dependent variables are nothing but a variables which we are trying to predict or forecast. And independent variables means that factors that influence the analysis. It is usually used to make projection. For example, we have variable 1 as humidity and variable 2 as temperature. Where humidity will play the role of dependent variable and in temperature will be the independent variable. Humidity and temperatures are correlated in such a way that as temperature increases, humidity will decrease and vice versa. Many organizations utilize regression models to predict how stocks will act from here on. This is done by breaking down the past information on stock cost and trends to recognize pattern. These are some popular regression algorithms that comes under supervised machine learning. First one is linear regression. Second one is regression trees. Third one is non-linear regression. Fourth one is Bayesian linear regression. After discussing the advantages and disadvantages of supervised machine learning and its types, let's move forward to see algorithms in supervised machine learning. In computer programming terms, an algorithm is a set of well-defined instructions to solve a particular problem. It takes a bunch of information sources and delivers the ideal result. The first supervised machine learning algorithm is linear regression. Linear regression is utilized to recognize the connection between dependent variable and at least one independent variable and is commonly utilized to make forecasts about future results. Company frequently use linear regression models to predict future sales. This can be useful for things like planning and arranging. Algorithms like Amazon product to product collaborative filtering are utilized to predict what clients will purchase later on given their past purchase history. A regression tree is worked through a cycle known as binary recursive partitioning, which is an iterative interaction that divides the information into segments or branches and afterward keep splitting each data into smaller groups as the technique climbs each branch. These trees are used for dependent variables with continuous value. For example, a regression tree named food, which divides into segments veg and non-veg. Further, it keeps splitting into smaller groups. Nonlinear regression is a type of regression examination wherein information is fit to a model and afterward communicated as a numerical function. Simple linear regression relates two factors with a straight line, while nonlinear regression relates the two factors in a nonlinear relationship. Nonlinear regression can be used to predict population growth over time or the relationship between GDP and the time of a country. This algorithm is a way to deal with linear regression in which the statical examination is attempted inside the settings of Bayesian inference. Linear regression and Bayesian regression can generate the same prediction and with the help of Bayesian processing, we can retrieve the complete variety of inferential solution instead of point estimate. Random forest is one of the most adaptable supervised machine learning algorithm utilized for both classification and regression purposes. Random forest is involved at work by researchers in numerous ventures including banking, stock exchanging, mitigation. It is utilized to predict the things which assist these businesses with running productively like client activity, patient history and safety. A decision tree is a very specific sort of tree that empowers you to conclude some kind of process used for dependent variables with discrete values. For example, you want to pick between manufacturing product A or product B or putting resources into decision 1, decision 2 or decision 3. Decision trees are an outstanding method for managing these kinds of complex choices. Logistic regression is calculated logically 
and chosen when the dependent variable is categorical, meaning they have double results. For example, logistic regression can be used to predict whether a political nominee will win or lose a political race, or regardless of whether a secondary school student will be admitted up to a specific school. A support vector machine is a well-known supervised machine learning model. It is utilized for the two information, classification and regression. All things considered, it is regularly utilized for grouping issues. Like, we can involve in different life care systems. We can involve in typically happy and sad look arrangement. We can involve in filters if we make specific looks. It would add the particular filter according to the expression. The scope of articulation lies between happy and sad. After understanding supervised machine learning algorithms, let's move forward and cover applications of supervised machine learning. Choose from over 300 in-demand skills and get access to 1,000 plus hours of video content for free. Visit SkillUp by Simply Learn. Click on the link in the description to know more. Supervised machine learning models can be used to build and advance several businesses' applications, including the following. The first one is image and object recognition. Supervised machine learning models can be utilized to find, isolate, and assort objects out of recordings of pictures, making them valuable when applied to different computer vision strategies and imagery analysis. The second one is predictive analysis. A broad use case for supervised machine learning models is in making predictive analytics systems to give profound experience into different business data of interest. This permits to expect specific outcomes because of a given result variable, assisting business leaders to justify choices or turn to serve the association. The third one is customer sentiment analysis. Utilizing supervised machine learning models, association can extract and arrange significant pieces of data from huge volumes of information, including context, emotion, and purpose with very little human intervention. This can be incredibly valuable while acquiring a superior understanding of client collaboration and can be utilized to further develop brand engagement efforts. The fourth one is spam detection. Spam identification is another application of supervised machine learning model. Utilizing classification calculation, companies can prepare datasets to recognize patterns or anomalies in new information to sort out spam and non-spam related data. So as we have seen all the major aspects of supervised machine learning, we will conclude this video. The objective of supervised machine learning is to construct a machine learning models that can get familiar with the planning between data and the results and can predict the output of the following given data sources. It is the most straightforward subcategory of machine learning and serves as an introduction to machine learning to many machine learning specialists. Most generally utilized Type of machine learning has been demonstrated to be an excellent tool in many fields. We have reached the end of this video. I hope you guys found this video informative and helpful. If you have any doubts or feedback, feel free to ask them in comment section below. We will happy to help you. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thank you and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.